Hello everybody. So considering there's this cough and very hard, uh, I don't know, upper respiratory infection that goes on. And honestly, I had it for almost the whole month of December, 2023. I show you what I do every day. Every day, I actually been doing this pot, this pot for a month almost, right? And it helps a lot, honestly, without that, I would have been much worse. You can also, by the way, little parenthesis, get this kind of tea, echinacea, everything. Try to boost your immune support. Uh, to boost immune support, there's different ways. Clearly, magnesium. Magnesium at night is very important. This is amazing. This brand, uh, Spirulina Blue Lemonade Flavor, Wooden Spoon Herbs Magic Magnesium. Not only tastes great, it's so easy to drink and, and even the evening with a glass of water. I drink so much water anyway. And this is really good. That's something that adults should have almost forever. So that's uh, everything helps to, to boost immune support. Magnesium lower the anxiety, make you sleep better. So again, remember, if you have all this problem, anxiety, depression, restlessness, and so on and so on, check your diet and your habits. So sports is important, stretching is important, some kind of yoga, or pilates, anything. That is not stupid. Try, try for one or two months. You cannot try once, once is not enough. But try for one or two months, try meditate. Try um, turn off the blue lights, so the phone, the tablets, or the TV, the gaming, one hour before you want to go to sleep. Not to bed, but to sleep. Maybe you, you get a book, try to read a book, or write a journal, meditate, again, anything. Uh, play with your pets, play with your kids, anything, but stay away from the blue lights. These lights we are seeing now in TikTok or in Instagram and everything. Well, if you want to sleep well, you have to stop and close them at least an hour before bed. Especially if you suffer from anxiety, restlessness, bad sleep, you, you don't wake up um, uh, uh, refreshed, rejuvenated, you wake up tired. So all this uh, seems obvious, but so many people don't do it yet. It's so obvious, so logic, but we don't do it because nobody's telling us or nobody's teaching us. So, I mean, many people are. If you watch the right things in TikTok, in Instagram or in YouTube, many people are, but it depends what you watch. So if you don't watch it, again, I'm trying to be one of those voices that help you think and do it. Now, uh, another important thing is to, to, again, to cure ourselves, to heal ourselves. Habits, so try to cut or make the bad habits less bad. So the do less of, being less addict to the computer, to the blue screen, to the gaming, to anything. And then food, diet, what we take in, it's what we are. So any problem, even again, something like anxiety, try to start intake magnesium one or two months. After two months, remember everything that is natural, like this uh, tea, this herbal tea that I'm showing that I'm doing now, takes a little bit longer because it's not chemical, but it's worth it because we don't damage anything in our body while we are taking care of our body and healing. So it's, it is worth it, especially in the long run. So if you have a certain age like me, I'm over 40 and so on. When you're 20, you can do more or less everything and the body recuperates pretty quickly. Depends, watch out, no hard drugs or hard alcohol. That will leave you signs forever. So think about that. Use your brain and love yourself. Love your body. Our body is our temple. Love it enough so you love yourself and your soul. It's the house of your soul, the body. And if it's not good, if it's sick, if it's not functioning, Life cannot be that good, it's a fact. So we're born with these amazing machines, amazing bodies that are natural though, natural. So watch out of the chemicals we intake in food, in drinks, watch out with sodas. Water is great, water with magnesium is great. Watch out, so yeah, I will definitely look into that. Again, especially if you have some kind of dysfunction or some kind of mental illness or anything, everything is connected. Mental goes together with also food, guts, what we take, and our habits. What do we watch? Do we watch violent things? Do we watch caring, get angry? Do we watch people fighting? Do we watch uh, road rages videos, stuff like that all the time? Or would we watch more positive videos, more happy puppies videos, or uh, act of kindness? I love to watch in YouTube act of kindness videos, and so on and so on. So, uh, nice comedies, nice movies, nice, oh, amazing Gaia TV, Gaia TV, I will write it here. Do we 
get inspired by some great documentaries, we get informed with it, but anything that is also good or interesting. We can not only watch violent stuff or horror stuff and then think that it doesn't reflect somehow in our mental health or our anxiety state or the quality of sleep and so on and so on. So yeah, for 2024, let's start really get change on all this. And I will definitely start from our habits and our diet. Let's change our habits for more healthy ones. We know what health is. Sports, sleep more, read more, maybe just, you know, less trash TV, trash YouTube, trash TikTok, and so on and so on. Less rage TikTok, hmm? more balance, harmony. Because it's, uh, again, it's an addiction. Even um, the trash TV or even anger. Anger, it becomes, we can become addicted to, to, to see that. And it's not good. Some people get really rich with that, but it's not cool. And, so, and then let's drink better healthier thing, let's take care, understand our body, what do we need, what will help with our problems, mental problems, anxiety problems, sleep problems, or energy levels, immune system, and so on, so help. Now, for the immune system, and especially for helping with this terrible, terrible um, infection, upper respiratory infection and cough that is going around all December 2023, apparently, all over the United States, one lemon, you wash them before, you can cut it, again, cut it into whatever, with the skin, leave the skin, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then you put it in here. Everything goes in here. Same with two, uh, two oranges if they're small, one if it's the big, you know, thick one. Again, cut it, squeeze it, squeeze it, you can squeeze it with your hands, you can use this. This is an amazing, actually, tool to squeeze stuff great and stainless steel. Stainless steel lasts forever. So even if your pets or for everything in the house, uh, copper, stainless steel, stuff like that is really, really, really good. And because it's super hygienic, so super easy to clean. It's not like plastic and it's so much better. And it lasts years longer than anything plastic. So if you have to buy something, think about it. Remember, we squeeze this, but then everything goes back in. We put everything in, we leave it in, because everything has to be boiled. Then I'll put one, one onions, has to be clean. Now, I invite you, why we do this kind of stuff? Because I invite you to see the properties of onion, garlic, there's natural antiviral, antibiotics, rosemary, thyme. So why do we use all these things? Because they're a natural antibiotics and antiviral. And it's extremely good. O on top of it, trust me, and again, don't take my words for it, do it. It's amazing for the, um, for the health. Oh yeah, that's my kitty cat talking. One second, my love. It's, uh, it's really amazing for your health and also it's really good, it tastes good. And again, don't take my word for it, try. I'll show you how, just try it. I will put in the bio, I will put all the ingredients. I'll, I'll write it here too, but on the bio will be them all listed. Sorry, it's taking me a little bit longer than I thought to clean this. Next time I'll pre-prepare everything if I do something like that. But there you are, see, onions in, garlic, little bit of garlic. I will say three pieces, three good pieces like that. Always clearly, clearly, <laughs> clear by the skin, one in. Two more, two more like this. And again, trust me, it does not taste bad at all. Especially after a little bit that you get used to, it's really yummy. Actually, again, I was very sick this month. Tons of medicine, honestly, did almost nothing. And the things that did me the best, and I felt really good after, was drinking this kind of, of tea. Uh, and I drink it, it's like it's a month I'm drinking it and I'm getting better and then it comes back. Unfortunately, this virus, I don't know what the hell it is, this upper res respiratory virus is very, very, very violent and comes back. It's not COVID because I've been tested and also I had COVID three, four times and I had zero symptoms. Basically, this thing is terrible. It gives me mental fog, I'm tired, sick, weak all the time, awful. Now, we put some time sometime like oh i will say maybe a teaspoon there you are like this a teaspoon of thyme 
then I add this and I have burdock. Burdock is really good. This one you can also just, you know, make it boil by itself, only burdock and maybe kinasha by itself and um, make it like very dense and then drink it. But anyway, this is Lubella. Lubella, again, teaspoon. And then clearly you filter the tea when you drink it with the, uh, how do you call it? The, the strainer, with a strainer. And this is Echinacea, Echinacea like that. So I like to buy also the, the, the herbs because I think they're really, really healthy and they work, but regardless if you're there is better otherwise do at least what you can you can put sage in this case i'm gonna put rosemary this much there you are now final touch turmeric turmeric go as always is a anti-inflammatory so it's really good uh turmeric i will say two teaspoons something like that or one tablespoon max Turmeric is anti-inflammatory, but it works only, not if you ingest pills, only if you drink it in a hot soups or hot teas, or if you eat it with hot meal. When it's hot, it gets activated. This is very important to not do. See, now that's how it finishes. There you are, that's all of it. Fill it up with water, the whole pot. Make it boil for like five minutes. Turn it off, and when it's still warm, clear and not boiling warm, you take this out, and then there is the, the tea, it rests with some, definitely the little herbs will be on the sediment, but you can filter it and drink it, drink it, plenty of it, warm, and add some honey, some honey, definitely put one spoon of honey while you're drinking the tea after, when you're drinking it. All this is extremely healthy. Now, you can add or change one of the ingredients and add um, eucalyptus, if you have a eucalyptus leaf, that's it. Well, I hope that's useful and... Let's drink to elf, to elf.